Our verse for today is Psalm 148, verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above the heavens and the earth. Psalm 148 is one of the creation psalms, which generally reflects and celebrates God's supremacy over creation, His self-revelation in nature, and the special place of human beings in God's creation. See also Psalm 8, 1965, and 104. This psalm is also one of the final Hallel Psalms that concludes the entire book of the Psalms, that is Psalms 146 to 150, which all begin and ends with Hallelujah, meaning praise the Lord, hence their classification as Hallel Psalms. The phrase praise the Lord or Hallelujah occurs 12 times in this psalm, calling on all creation to join in praising the Lord. The psalm is in two parts. The first, verses 1 to 6, calls upon the heavenly realms, the angels and hosts, the sun, moon and stars, the highest heavens and the waters above, to praise the Lord. Verses 5 to 6 conclude this section with the reason to praise God. It reads, Let them praise the name of the Lord at whose command they were made alluding to the words describing God's creative activity in Genesis chapter 1. The second part, that is verses 7 to 14, calls upon the earthly realms, that is, the sea, land and air creatures, fire, snow and wind, mountains, trees and plants, kings, princes and judges of the earth, men, women and children, old and young, all over the world, to praise the Lord, meaning, Every element and aspect of creation is to join in praising God. Verse 13 concludes the psalm with the reason to glorify God. It reads, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above the heavens and the earth. As in most cultures, especially in Africa, names in the Bible are essential concepts. They reflect the nature and character of the being and represent the person's essence. This is why Abraham, Sarah, Jacob, Samuel, Jeremiah, and many others had their names changed or significantly explained in the scriptures. In Exodus chapter 3 from verse 14 to 15, God said to Moses, I am who I am. Say to the Israelites, Yahweh the God of your fathers has sent me to you. This is my name forever. The children of Israel reverence and worship God's name, Yahweh, and they will never call it. Instead, they say Adonai, which means Lord. So whenever you see the word Lord in your Bibles, written all in capital letters, know that it represents God's name, Yahweh. The psalmist therefore calls us to praise Yahweh, whose name alone is exalted, whose majesty is above the heavens and earth because he created the heavens and earth and everything that exists in the world. This psalm has inspired many religious compositions like St. Francis of Assisi's hymn, The Canticle of Brother Sun and Sister Moon, or T.S. Eliot's song, We praise thee, O God, for thy glory. Other hymns include all creatures of our God and King, and praise ye the Lord, ye heavens adore. So God alone deserves our worship, and nothing else can compete with Him. He is unique, distinct, and exceptional, and worthy of our worship, not just because He is our Creator, but also because He is our Redeemer, since everything begins, exists, and ends in Him alone. Let us therefore dispose and give ourselves to praising and worshipping God, today and always. Let us pray. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of your creation, of heaven and earth, of our lives and the gift of faith. Help us to love and worship you and bring the world to know and humbly adore you as the one and only God. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a very wonderful day.